Nicky has been doing since the 1990s some excellent work, so you'll hear some of it new at all. Thanks, John. <laughs> Uh, it's 24 years ago since I first met Jim. Uh, well, ha happy, happy birthday, Jim, by the way. At the time I was 22, and I thought Jim was uh, some old bastard from Glasgow. And he's like 10 years younger than I am now. So, I don't know what that says. So I just read some poems from uh, selected poems. Uh, just out in July is called Decade of Cuts. The circle of life, they are lying to us. On the side of a bus, it stated the Lion King starts next month at the Edinburgh Playhouse. It started last month. <laughs> Don't clap, it's fine. Uh, a lot of weak poems. Uh, process poem, cheese, peas. <laughs> End time of the month, November 2018. Well, it could be any fucking month, or sometimes any part of the month, to be honest. I have two pound in change, well, a two pound coin, which Anne Law gave me this morning, but I need for change for the bus, which is the reason I asked her for it, which is one pound twenty. So I can buy some wristlets, which are 29p from Tesco. I will go to Willie at the checkout. I have two pound left on one of my credit cards. Can't use the other in shops as I can't mind the pin, but there's nothing in that one either. I can use that for lunch. I'll buy a croissant and a boost. Give yourself a boost. They only have boost jewels. Give yourself two boosts in this Tesco. Though they feel as if they're not full size, but it'll still work. The croissant is 79p, the sweet 85. I'll buy these, get boosted at the electronic cashier even though I'm against them because I'm too embarrassed to go back to Willie, even though he's probably more damaged than me. Maybe I'm more damaged than him. <laughs> this is a nice line, it shows a lot of craft. <laughs> I am as a pun on I am and can be read as one. Maybe, maybe a too stressed like me spondy, the spondy I am I am manifest, or maybe a trochaic maybe. That could then lead the I am to read as a trochaic I am. Two hypercatalytic lines there, maybe. Maybe, maybe, an iambic maybe. However, Amphibrach, that stress pattern sounds a bit weird, but might be nice to recite. I know he has epilepsy. I remember him from school. He's slightly older. I wonder what else has happened since I saw him have a fit. He's actually got a walking stick now. I saw him last week. <laughs> Playing rugby. I fucking hate rugby. Why did I have no agency as a teenager? I know why. <laughs> really he looks seriously medicated, almost lobotomized. What a life. He's probably got more money than me though. <laughs> One final problem remains for today. I said I'd make soup, butternut squash to use up the veg in the veg box, but we need bread. I have 60p left in the bank, might be able to get a half baguette with that. I get these helpful banking texts. Text, a simple way to stay on top of your finances without even having to think about it. Except you do. Saturday 17th Nov, AC 9348, 17th Nov. Your overnight balance was £20.60. As this is near your limit, please ensure you have enough money in your account to cover any payments. Thanks for the input, Bank of Scotland. I've had enough to cover payments. I can be banked. There's no magic money tree unless it's quantitative easing, which is not for me. Withdrew the last 20 quid at the weekend. That 60p is the same one I just mentioned for the bread. I want to at least pretend I have some dignity left by not asking Anne Ward to get the bread. Massive fail. Also ask for something sweet, unlike me, and some backache because I just ran out. I'll go to Sainsbury's near me when I live here. The bakery at the Tesco isn't working at the moment. I eat both boosts. Didn't intend to. There's something wrong with me. I'm too thin. The croissant's not very nice, though buttery, though quite buttery, bit dry. Um, bank poem. Catch a great. Cash eyes are ray. Baby spinach, a delicate, creamy flavour. Insurance, protect the ones you love from just six pounds a month. Yeah, have a wee drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a logo one, that's why I didn't drink. Uh, it's called Episodes 2 and Insurance. 
at the end of the world, watching 12 monkeys with our Lord. Meant to be clear in the other room and get the ceiling replaced the morning's morning. It fell in an old year's night, but instead I'm doing this. Are you dying to get away? Is in an advert on the TV in the film. I'm not on t sorry. Is are you dying to get away? Is in an advert in the film, not on the TV. An advert in the film on TV. I play a be precise. It appears to be a futuristic advert, because all adverts are like that these days, coded messages that chart everything. I say futuristic, but the film was made in 1995. That scene was set in 1990, so it's actually in the past, even in the film. Not just the film being in the past, so it's a double past, which makes the future. <laughs> anyway, those adverts have come true, watching 12 monkeys with Dan Moore. She's holding her rainbow owl as a tie toy, don't know his name, flying it around and looking at it. I said something funny, I can't remember what it was. I noted rainbow owl as a prompt in my notebook, but my note was not enough. She has another that's like a hamster, it's called Kimmy, though she doesn't use its name. She's using them to help her stop smoking stress balls substitute. She, she prefers the rodent, she strokes its ears, flying her magic rainbow owl, who's actually called Hootie, I found out from the label, that has these magic eyes Unlike Kimmy's, who don't follow you around the room and give you support, always making eye contact to help. The rodent is more pleasant to stroke, though. We've all gone mad. Maybe that's what I said. <laughs> it's in my notes. My notes was actually the tenth note I had written down since starting to take notes. I don't actually know what my notes mean, either an instruction or a reminder in case I forgot that these lines were my notes. Bruce Willis, the character in the film, likes this music, the music that he hears at points being in the film, like in a car with Madeleine Stowe. What's she doing these days? She was in Last of the Mohicans in some film with Ray Liotta as a stalker, who's a cop, that's all I can remember offhand. It's actually unlawful, unlawful entry with Kurt Russell. I've got, a, I've got a note to write, it's actually written what Joe said about my poems being like magic, but I can't think how or why it was meant to fit in with this. Yes, the notes don't help very much. Cellular muse? For instance, no idea what that means. <laughs> Nick Cassandra complex. A magic poem could be my lit erasure of the asylum and immigration application form I found on the bus in 2006. The last two lines I made were go, no, leave, remain. I'm drinking lemon verbena instead of chamomile. B picked it from our garden, that's our Lord's best pal in the south of France. It's nice, lemony and gingery. The husk leaves come back to life. Green in the hot water. Bees nice. The folk that go back in time in the film have some kind of tracking device in their teeth so they can get found and taken back to the future. These days, when I go into Tesco and some other supermarkets, the alarm goes off. And a few months ago, it crossed my mind that perhaps it was something to do with my tooth. The root canal work was particularly memorable. The strange burning sounds and smell when the tooth was refilled. It seemed like there's been some dental improvements since I last had such a procedure. So after <clears throat> I had started setting off alarms when going into supermarkets for some months, I wondered if I had anything to do with my root canal cleansing, quite torturous in fact, as it seemed like the Tesco thing had started around the same time. Stan, the wee Asian guy, who seems a bit senior to other Tesco workers, wondered if I had a new phone, as it can make them go off. I said no. New jeans? Jeans? Sometimes it doesn't go off when I go in, but then goes off when I go out. More often it goes off when I go in and not when I go out. Sometimes both when I go in and when I go out. <laughs> it happens a lot with other people too. Staff don't even bother looking anymore, but you still feel guilt, even if you haven't stolen anything for a change. It's like, it's like, some, kind of, it's like some kind of conditioning for new invisible border fences or some kind of complex with barrier alarms, and it's in my tooth. He loves his son, Bruce Willis, because where he's from in the film, it's all to do with a virus that wipes out all but 1% of the population. And he's in some kind of prison. At one point when Bruce is running somewhere in the dark at night, there's the noise of a bird 
to give the scene some atmosphere, a piercing mural, but it's a vulture's or a buzzard's mealing. And they don't do that at night, they sleep at night, they only mewl <laughs> during the day. I wrote down apocalyptic visions, but I can't remember if it was said in the film or if I just noted it down. You're completely insane. No, I'm not, I'm in insurance. I also meant to work on notes tonight. <laughs> I also meant to work on notes tonight, the long process erasure of my mental health medical notes poem, but instead I'm doing this, and behind this there's all this fucking other stuff. Squashed. I said you...